Hello, Internet, and welcome to my live reaction for Eden Zero, Chapter 148. Um, when we last left our heroes, uh, Shiki wanted to just go straight for Witch, you know, fuck the plan, uh, and Jean and Couch Poe were to kind of, like, talk him out of it, and instead of just going straight for where Witch was, which is almost certainly a trap, uh, they convinced him to meet up with Team Wise, uh, in the basement, uh, and so that, that the whole group can kind of have a better chance of stopping Shora and saving Witch and stopping All Link, uh, than Shiki alone. Um, meanwhile, Shora was just kind of torturing Witch. Um, nothing really new to learn there. Uh, and then we kind of split between, uh, Lyra of the Ocean Six and her, um, her sort of, sort of, like, subordinates. As she was sort of put in charge of the group that I think was under the general that Shora killed, uh, several chapters back. Uh, and how they all kind of, kind of resent her for being young and kind of inexperienced and not Fabiano. Uh, meanwhile, um, Rebecca and Wise fall under the spell of Nase's Ether Gear, which is instilling them with particular emotions. Uh, Wise is filled with fear and Rebecca with grief. Uh, the bots are unaffected, kind of leaving them to sort of lead the fight against Nase. Uh, and Lyra has left her command post to kind of watch, I think. And yeah, that's sort of where we left off. Let's jump right on into Eden Zero, Chapter 148, Eye of Horus. Uh, and we don't even really have a cover page here, going straight into the action. Uh, as Shiki lands at, I guess, like the access hatch outside the dome. Mm. And looks down at... So this will take me to the un so this will take me to the underground tunnels. Hang in there, witch. I'm coming. Uh, and then we cut to the airspace above Nero sixty six, uh, as Oasis is still just blasting away against the Empire. Uh, the music still coming from Ibaraki's ship. Tra la li la, tra la li la. Um, and Ibaraki sort of uh, tells the rest of Oasis, if and so. There's a whole heckin' lot of them around here, swarming around like flies. Uh, and then I think Russo is is Bunny Boy. I'm out of ammo. I'm heading back to get more. Uh, and then the two humans who are either siblings, as I thought they said in Sandra, or lovers, as was implied earlier, or hopefully not both, um, gets a little little readout on her. Um, gets gets some info on her readout. What? Um, and then the guy also responds, enemy reinforcements. These are, uh, and Goodwin in like shock. You've got to be kidding me. And even Eraser, I think is kind of, kind of dripping sweat there. You were still hiding all that firepower up your sleeve, eh? There are 10,000 of them. And I see at least 10 plus of those like Kraken command ships. Um, especially as last chapter reminds us, Eraser is like recharging his ether at the moment. Uh, they're not in a good spot. Cause there's like 10 Oasis ships, I think. Oh boy. Um, uh, and then we see another fighter approaching. Uh, and one of Goodwin's like, um, uh, Bridgeman calls up to him, unidentified fighter approaching from six o'clock. What now? And the ship just rams through one of the sides, causing explosions wherever it follows. Uh, and some more Oasis members read out, these speed readings are off the charts. I've never seen a ship this fast. Uh, and Goodwin kind of grits his teeth. Is it a new enemy model? Uh, but a racer comes on the screen. No, an ally. Do me a favor and don't shoot him. Uh, that's another member of the Erasio and Seis, ain't it? Um, and the, the fighter just blasts more Imperial ships, as Eraser tells Goodwin, Although, I doubt normal gunfire could hit him. Ether Link online. Uh, and these orbs kind of, this is from the mystery person, these orbs sort of surround uh, the fighter. Uh, as some, I think it's the same bridge dudes from earlier, yeah. What the? There are lights surrounding the ship? Oh, it's justice. Seven stars. Pass your judgment. Right, because there are seven of them uh, blasting across um, um, the the Imperial forces. Here's a very important... Right, because 
Oh, I, I should have figured because Justice was already in, already stated. I think he was coming for Nero sixty six. He initially got onto a racer for going on ahead, right? But anyway, what I'm what I'm most most curious about is how will Justice react when he learns who a racer is allied with, or specifically who the group that a racer has allied with have also allied with. And also, who that who that group have also allied with. Because if you go those steps, you get, you know, Eraser, to Oasis, to the crew of Edens, to Elsie. Um, and Justice has, in fact, directly fought the crew of Edens back on Foresta. And so, how is he going to react when he realizes that they're now on the same side? Is he going to put all that aside? Um, like, if, if it was just... He fought them because they were, like, criminals or something. Um, I imagine he could put that aside in the face of the greater threat of, of Shora. But give, he's not exactly rational when it comes to Elsie. Mm. So I'm not optimistic that Justice won't somehow fuck all this up. Anyway, um, seven stars, Pastor of Judgment. Grand Chariot, just decimating the Imperial ships. Again, I hope he's on our side, because <laughs> as soon as he's not, as soon as he is not, uh, we might be fucked. Uh, Ibaraki is just stunned. Even so, what kind of attack is that? Uh, and Lazar reacts, multiple, multiple omnidirectional lasers? Uh, and this one bot member of Oasis we've seen a bunch before, but I don't remember his name. And every one of those beams has incredible penetrating power. Uh, and Eraser just kind of gives a happy little sigh. You're late to the party, my friend. And Justice chimes in. Justice, reporting for duty. Now joining the mission to subdue Nero 66. And also bringing in a fleet of, of IUA battleships. Uh... That's what they need to combat combat the Empire. Um, and one of the things... I, I've said this before... It's, it's tied to something I've said before a lot about the Empire. How they kind of feel like a government. And what I like... What I'm liking about the IUA right here... Is that their shifting relationship... Um, compared to the crew of Edens... Also kind of feels like that in the same sense and that like you know if you get rid of the empire justice is opposed to our crew due to their relationship with elsie but right now they're all on the same side against nero it's an alliance um of of necessity um but that does not really erase the sort of conflict between the two groups it's a really really nice um Nice, nice thread. Mashima is kind of, kind of threading here. Um, honestly, God, this this entire saga is just really fucking good. Um, anyway, Oasis reacts. Look at all those battleships, government reinforcements, uh, and Goodwin just sort of grins. Then we're still in this. And with that, it's time to cut back to underground Nero sixty six underground tunnels. Uh, and Wise and Rebecca are still basically incapacitated after nasa hypnotized them wise is like on, on curl up and curl up on the floor shaking stop it stop it stop it stop it stay away stay away stay away rebecca's just crying Wah, ah. and happy's trying to get through to them rebecca wise pull yourself together uh and pino observes they are suffering from a total loss of self guys the enemy is right in front of you uh and nasa just teases him don't waste your breath only I know how to undo the hypnosis. Uh, and happy, happy question, happy questions him. Is it's an ether gear? Yes, the power of hypnosis, the eye of Horus. Well, it sure is a good thing they have an instant ether gear canceller. Unless does Pino have to recharge her? Or no, because but Pino, I was about to ask if Pino has to recharge her EMPs, but I don't think she used it in this timeline. I think Rebecca undid that timeline before Rebecca used her, before Pino would use her EMP blast. Um, it's kind of canceling that out. Uh, so that, that should still work. Uh, we'll see why it won't. <laughs> uh, and 
wise like head in hand. That constant prattle about powers is scary. Stop it! And Rebecca cries. You must be awfully conf confident. Wah! Unhappy asks Pino. What can we do? Can we fight them ourselves? And both of them get in this adorable little like battle stance. As Pino responds, we have no other choice. Um, and Moscow just stops them. Don't worry. I have found his massive weakness. And Nasa just grins at him. Interesting. And um, Pino looks back. Really, Mr. Moscow? You have? His hypnosis has no weight on androids. Uh, which is, yeah, it's basically what I noted, what I noted uh, last week. Uh, which means it will finally be a good time for our bot friends to fight. And maybe we'll get to see what happens when you push the button. Please, I want to. I want to know what. I, so actually, actually, let me let me back up and look at look at the button as a larger thing. There's a part of me that wants to know what happens when you push the button, like some big super cool reveal. There's another part of me that wants Mashima to tease what happens when you push the button for the entire series, and then to never reveal what happens when you push the button. I think that would be so fucking funny. Um, but anyway. Mm. We'll see where Mashima goes with that. His hypnosis has no weight on androids. Unhappy and Pino look at each other. You're right. None of us has been affected. Uh, and Moscow, I think kind of changing into like a sumo vibe. His hair definitely changes. And he rips off Shiki's uh, coat. If his hypnosis can't get us, there's nothing to fear. And he kind of jumps down in, yeah, like a sumo outfit. Moskoi has his little pose, slams his foot down. Moskoi! And is in this like wider sumo pose. I will hit you with the full force of a galactic Yokozuna. Right, he had, had at one point been referred to as Yokozuna, hadn't he? Um, and Nasai looks at him. Oh, we're talking about sumo ranks? Is Yokozuna good? And Mosko rushes him. It's the highest rank there is! Galactic Yokozuna style! Meteor face slap shower! And Mosko just starts slapping him. And Nasai just kicks him in the face. Completely unaffected by that. Moskoi! Mosko! Ah! And Mosko is sent flying. Kicking is breaking the rules. And he falls to the ground. The way the way that line is broken up, it feels like his like fading into unconsciousness line that you get a lot in anime. Um, so I think Moscow might be out for now. Uh, Nasa just looks at him. You seem to have gotten the wrong idea. My hypnosis does work on androids, although it takes a little more time to kick in. Uh, okay, so we might be a little fucked. Uh, and we see Moscow is hypnotized. I know. I'll make you into a fine lady... And Moscow sort of like blushes. Mo la la. Happy and Pino are just like jaws dropped. Aye, what a profoundly disgraceful state of dress. Mo no no. And he sort of like covers his, his chest. Uh, and Wise panics. Moscow is scaring me. I'm scared. I'm scared. And Rebecca, I don't like seeing Moscow like that. Wah. Ah. And ha Happy and Pino are just like sh stunned. Um... As everyone, as all three of them are just sort of reacting as they've been hypnotized to. Um, I will say, Pino, this would be a great time to use your EMP. Uh, and Nase just approaches. I, I love the, the, the positioning of that panel. That is probably going to be our thumbnail. Um, as, as we see just how big Nase is compared to Happy and Pino. Um... I believe this may be the greatest crisis we have ever faced. Uh, Happy agrees. And the greatest chaos we've ever faced. Uh, and Nase looks at them kind of pityingly. Well now, all that's left are the two tiny tots. You are adorable little robots, aren't you? I'm glad I saved you for last. What shall I do with you? Um, and, and Happy... Uh, or, so Pino is sort of doing this uh, mental link with Happy. Data linking to Mr. Happy. He has let his guard down considerably. Uh, and Happy, Happy concurs. Yeah, well, when you consider what we look like. But with, but with his lower defense, this is our chance. And Happy agrees. Aye. Angle of fire. Calculated. Transformation. 
Uh, and he starts his transformation. Uh, Nase looks kind of kind of confused. Happy blasters! And Nase gets out of the way. It did not work. Oops. Um, and Pino does what I've been telling her to do all chapter. It is likely that I can deactivate the enemy's ether gear with my powers. Activate EMP. Uh, and Nase seems actually shocked there. What? And his ether lines fade. My power. This miniature bot can generate an electromagnetic pulse. So yeah, um, that worked. I was expecting there to be some kind of complication and not Pino can just get rid of the Eye of Horus immediately. Uh, also though, quick question, a bit of a complete tangent here about the name of that power is does the Eye of Horus in Egyptian mythology have any relation to hypnosis at all? Because Horus is like a warrior god, right? Um, like kind of, kind of one of those like symbols of the pharaoh types. So I don't know what that has to do with with um, with hypnosis. That doesn't quite seem right to me. Um, I don't know. Anyway, uh, Rebecca ha Rebecca Wise and Mosco all wake up, um, and Rebecca kind of like rubs her her face. What? Why am I crying? And Wise kind of clutches himself. Why am I getting chills? Uh, and Mosco, mo la la, I mean, Moskoi, and happy cheers, they're back, we did it! Uh, and Nase, realizing the, the extent of his mistake, the miniature bot was the biggest threat all along. Uh, and Wise is just kind of, kind of dazed, <laughs> he's sort of awoken and has no idea what's going on anymore. What in blazes is going on? Uh, and happy fills them in, he uses hypnotic ether gear, we don't know how he does it, but be careful! Uh, and Rebecca's kind of shocked. Hypnosis? And Wise adds, be careful, but how? Uh, and Pino, Pino tells them, he uses a different method than standard hypnotic suggestion. It should be subject to, it should be subject to some kind of rules. Um, but just at that moment, Nase's powers come back. My ether is back. I'll start with you. Hypno connect. And he gets Pino just like that. Ah! Pino! And Nase tells her, you are a mole. I am a mole. Mole, mole. And Wise, like, breaks the tension. That's not what moles say. Um, and uh, that aside, though, Pino starts to, like, scratch at the ground. I will dig a hole. Mole, mole. Pino, what's gotten into you? Uh, and Moscow looks at Rebecca after that. Something similar happened to the two of you, too. I mean, it happened to you as well, Moscow. Um, and Pino keeps going, Mole, mole, it's too hard, I can't dig through it. And Happy tries to get to her, Pino, snap out of it! You are a pigeon. And with that, he's controlling Happy now. And Happy kind of, like, bounces around in this kind of, I guess, pigeon-like pose. Coo, 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 And Rebecca's shocked there, Happy! Um, and, uh, uh why is this sort of... I mean, I don't know how they get out of this at this point. With Pino a failure, and I don't know how they how they win. Um, but Wise, Wise kind of stunned. What is going on here? And then Nase turns back to Moscow. You are a party girl. Like, OMG, most lol, let's party. Uh, and Rebecca, Rebecca's turn for the comic shock. A party girl? Uh, and Nase just laughs. Ooh, ha, 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 this is hilarious. And we see Nase, or uh, Pino, crawling to the ground still. Mole, mole. Um, happy bouncing around. Kukuru. And Mosco, like, are you for real? Like, so swole. Uh, and why is, why is it Rebecca? The, sh is, the shoe is now completely on the other foot. How in blue blazes do we stop this? This is definitely not good. And then Nase turns to the two of them. And now... The moment you've all been waiting for. Time for fatal hypnosis. And that's where we leave off. Okay, um, let's dig in. So, first let's talk about the justice bit. Um, I like it a lot. Um, justice, we see just how powerful he is. Um, but also I don't know what else there's to say about justice beyond, like I went into the kind of, of alliance games at play here. You know, how how Justice is now allied to a group, 
allied to a group that are friends with Elsie. Uh, and how will he react when he realizes the crew of Eden, Edens is on the ground fighting for uh, for Eraser and Oasis uh, and against against Shora? Um, and I, I just think that's something to definitely keep an eye on going forward. Um, and then we get what could have been the fight for the bots. A fight, a fight really for, you know, showing the bots worth as fighters, giving us the button. Uh, but we don't get that. We don't really get the, that at all. Uh, we find out that the bots are susceptible to hypnosis, which adds even, like, it, it's, we keep learning things that are like, yeah, the bots are definitely just as human as anyone else. They're not just programs. Because you can't really hypnotize a program. You can hypnotize a person with a heart and a soul and a mind. But you can't hypnotize a program. Um, so, like, you know, Shora's arguments get weaker and weaker as time, as, as more things about bots are learned. Um, which, like, makes sense. He, he's wrong. So, of course, as you learn more things, he becomes more and more wrong. Um, but I do wish that it didn't work on bots. Just because the bots are weak enough that any any fight focusing on the bots would be very fun. And also it gives Nase a bit of a handicap. And like if you want to still have have um, Rebecca, you could even still have Rebecca and Wise be kind of kicked out of the fight. If the rules are something like uh, Rebecca or the EMP stops Nase from being able to do more hypnosis, but it does not stop him from, does not cancel the hypnosis that are already in place because those are hypnoses that are kind of, um, um, those hypnoses are already um, part of their minds. It's not just ether anymore, it's part of their minds. And so they could have done that um, and made this a fight that Rebecca and, and Wise can't do anything with. Uh, because the EMP doesn't work for that, and give the focus to the bots who don't really get fights of their own very often or at all. Uh, I think that would have been a lot of fun um, as the three of them to come up with like unique ways to to win, uh, especially since since if Pino's EMP wouldn't work. Um, but we don't get that, and I shouldn't really spend too much time harping on what could have been. Uh, instead, the tables are turned again, and now it's the bots who were hypnotized, and it's Rebecca and Wise's opportunity to kind of come out on top. Um, which is a bit of a shame still. I do wish it would have been an opportunity for the, for the androids. Um, but I'm still excited to see where this goes. I love Rebecca and Wise a whole lot. Um, and honestly, I don't know how they pull this off. Because, like... Pino implies back on page like seventeen um, that that NASA's hypnosis should be subject to some kind of rules, but I don't know how they like like NASA hypnotizes them so fast. I even if they could learn it, I don't know how they would before they're beaten. Uh, I just don't see how that happens. I'm sure it will because this is a hero Mashima manga and the heroes have to win. Uh, um, but I'm curious to see how he'll, how he'll pull it off. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I don't know if there's much else to say here. Um, this is really just even more set up for the Nase fight. Uh, kind of turning the turning last chapter set up on its head, while also throwing a complication into the grander scheme of the Nero 66 arc with the arrival of Justice, and new questions as to how he will react to seeing, you know, the allies of his mortal enemy um, fighting on the same side as him. Uh, really looking forward to see what happens there. Um, but yeah, beyond that, that's all i got to say for this video. Hope you all enjoyed the chapter and the video itself. If you did, feel free to drop me a like or subscribe. You know, do whatever makes you happy, you know? And remember, your life is your own, okay? Bye!